Welcome. We are so glad you have joined us for our solar electric trailer journey. We're thrilled to have you here today. If you remember, last week we talked about getting the hitch added to the car. This week we actually towed using that hitch. We rented a U-Haul trailer that weighs 850 pounds. We towed it empty to Ikea. If you've ever been to an Ikea, you know everything you buy there comes in a box. And by the time we were done buying what we wanted, that weight came to, let me get this right, 407 pounds. So between the 407 pounds that we bought and the 850 pounds of the trailer, we had a total of 1,257 pounds. And we, it is very comparable in weight and size to the A-Liner Scout Light that we hope to buy soon. Um, it was a wonderful experience. We had absolutely no problems with it. We're excited to, to get the trailer in tow, knowing that what we just did was easy and stress-free. Yeah. Uh, I want to share uh, what I will call a little bit of nerd data uh, with you, and I hope uh, you'll forgive me, but those of you who uh, own EVs, especially Bolts, or are thinking about acquiring them may be interested in some of this data. Of course, there's no way to do a real apples to apples uh, comparison of this drive, uh, but um, I do. I, we did gather some data on the energy use just to help uh, frame it. So the the trip that we measured was 36.1 miles. The first 4.6 miles of that trip did not have the trailer attached. That was the drive to the U-Haul. Uh, the, the way the car resets the, the, this data, it's, it's triggered by a full charge. So we didn't get another full charge uh, at the U-Haul station. Yeah. So it didn't reset the, the trip uh, data. But 88% of the trip that we measured of this 36.1 miles was uh, with the trailer. So it's pretty indicative of, of trailer driving. Um, we used 8.4 kilowatt hours. So we got uh, 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour in the uh, on this trip. So it was, uh, and, and that compares to our long-term average of 4.1. So scooting around town with this small trailer actually seemed to be uh, less difficult for the car than driving on the freeway yeah. without the yeah. trailer. Uh, so yeah, if we great. keep to slow speeds, it, it's pretty yeah. clear our range will not be uh, devastated by uh, towing the trailer. Uh, towing the trailer on the freeway will be another challenge. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll have to try that yeah. someday. Well, we will try we it. Will. Uh, yeah. um, looking at how the car thinks about the experience, it actually has a, a bunch of little data points. And so uh, on a scale of minus five to plus five, uh, it gave my technique a 3.5 score. And quite honestly, that's a very high score. I don't usually get that high a score. So what it was saying is that I was accelerating slowly, I was stopping slowly uh, and going moderate speeds. So it was happy with my driving. And so that's kind of a, in, in fairness, we had to call out the fact that the car thought I was driving uh, in an efficient way. The car scored the terrain as a minus 3.3, which is a really bad score. Uh, again, on a minus five to plus five scale, a minus 3.3 is pretty bad. Of course, the terrain wasn't the problem. It was yeah. the trailer. So it interpreted, the car interpreted the trailer as rough terrain, or, or in other words, going up a hill. We didn't, you, you'll see on the, the screenshot here, I'll share uh, that we didn't use the uh, climate control system during our trip. Uh, we, we left the air conditioner off. It was a little warm in the car. We rolled the windows down to stay comfortable. It was not a super hot day uh, here in Florida in February, but it was it, it was warmish. It was, it was about 80 degrees yeah. when we yeah. uh, started our little journey. That 80 degree temperature gave the car, the car scored that as an, uh, a 2.8. Uh, and it was, you know, a mildly warm day. The, the, the car battery thrives on heat. 
And so up to about 100 degrees, the car just gets happier <laughs> with, with heat. So uh, it was happy with that. I loved it. Now I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show a bar chart now that uh, the car displays that shows the average miles uh, per kilowatt hour uh, over uh, the last 50 miles or so. Uh, on the chart, you can see a bar for the, the current measurement, uh, and that could be anywhere from uh, zero to five miles, and I don't know when it reset. I didn't, wasn't watching it closely enough. And then the first six bars, I think, represent the first six bars working right to left, backwards, if you will, uh, represent the uh, drive with the trailer. Uh, and you can see that in the height of the bars, right? The, uh, before we had the trailer, we were just scooting around town doing errands and stuff in town, not on the freeway. Um, we were getting a little better than five miles per kilowatt hour with the trailer, uh, we were getting about four, uh, it looks like on this chart. So uh, again, just another way to look at the data, but it, it, it really we're thrilled to see that uh, we can tow the trailer at speeds. You know, we, our top speed on this trip, I think was 47 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's thrilling to know that we can tow a trailer, that we our, our range won't necessarily be yeah. devastated by it, and that we can go out and do some things. So anyway, that's kind of the Devon's nerd report yeah. on the whole thing. <laughs> and it was, it was very, we're so glad we did it. because It just took all the stress out of doing it. Yeah. It was, it was great, great experience. We're glad. You joined us today. If you enjoyed this today, and we're hoping, hoping you did in our other episodes, please subscribe, share, comment, and like. And we'll see you later. Bye. Thanks, everybody.